Hey, everybody. So do you play hard to get in the world of dating? What do you think about that? Do you play being evasive, elusive? Does that make you feel like more in control maybe? Or you like the chase? You like a guy chasing you or a woman chasing you? What do you think is the right thing to do in regards to this? I'm David Hessel. Oh, my Lord. For 25 years, we've helped people in the world of relationships and as I've said a million times, I love this topic. I love this topic because times have changed. A number of years ago, there were books written about etiquette and manners in the world of dating. And so many of them shocked me at the time. I remember around 1991, 92, a book came out. And it was talking about how women should be evasive, elusive, play hard to get. Make the guy chase you because the guy loves a chase and you want to make sure that he's really into you. And I remember reading it back then saying, what a bunch of nonsense, you know, just a bunch of crap is what it was. And that's what I still believe today. I mean, all these years later, don't play games, you know, don't, don't play hard to get, don't be evasive, elusive, whether it's from a guy's perspective or a woman's perspective. One of my clients, a woman, as a matter of fact, was in this week and she was talking about how a guy doesn't reply to her text, you know, for maybe like 10 hours or 15 hours or 20 hours. And whenever she says, hey, you know, um, I sent you the text about getting together for a movie and I didn't hear from you until 12 hours later. He goes, oh yeah, I'm just so sorry. I didn't get back to you. And she said, well, you know, if you're that busy, then I'll give you multiple days notice. He goes, no, I'm not that busy. <laughs> and I thought, well, at least he's telling you the truth, honey. Maybe he's not that into you, you know, maybe he really doesn't think it's that important. Um, but on the other hand, if he's playing a game to have you chase him, you don't want that either. So what I tell people all the time is be real, you know, don't be evasive and elusive on purpose. If you want to communicate frequently, come on, communicate frequently. If you don't tell your prospective partner that you're not really into communicating that often, but whatever, always be honest. 100% honesty in how you feel, what you do, and you can't go wrong in the world of dating. Don't forget to join our YouTube channel right here so that you can get all these updates quickly, just for you, absolutely free. Our book, The Power of Focus, is free. That's at talkdavid.com. Our six videos on financial freedom are free. That's at talkdavid.com. And if you want to join any of our courses, we're doing all these really cool, inexpensive courses now via teleconference. 30 minutes a week for eight weeks, $30 a week. It's so inexpensive. Expensive. All of that's at talkdavid.com as well. Okay, join us. And if you want to work with me one on one, we've been doing it for 25 years and we do a damn good job. <laughs> David Essel, have a great day.